Hi, this is Lynn with Extreme Virtual Support coming to you with the third in our four-part series on Office 2013. Today we're going to take a look at Outlook. When you go into your file or your backstage view, this is where you come to add accounts, change accounts. You can also set up different rules here and replies. You can manage your add-ins and let's take a look at our Office account view. This is where you, you want to personalize your experience this way if you sign in with with an account an office account then or Microsoft account then you can have this same look you can have all of your settings across any version of office or well, across other uh, office 2013 products that you use you can change your photo things like that this is you can also come and change your background here and go from different you know white to light gray dark gray and I'm not really sure why my connected services are not working here. I've set them up. That's something I've got to do some troubleshooting on. So let's go back. And this is what, what you see when you log in or when you start Outlook. It's flatter. You don't see the rounded um, you know, bars and things like that. And it's not blue anymore. It's either the white, completely white, light gray, or dark gray. So let's take a look at a few things. Um, First of all, on the, um, the calendar view, you can come down here and do a, what's called a calendar peak and move things around and pop it out and it'll appear over here. And it only shows one month at a time. It used to show more, but that's all it's showing right now. You can also uh, go over here and add on the view. You have to be on the view. And look at your to-do bar. And right now I've got a calendar and people and tasks all selected. But if I want to take my tasks out, then they're gone. And this is just a, a selection. If you want your favorite people, you can click on it and just see what they've been up to lately. Uh, you drop down there and, and just see the different things. Um, so I I just was playing around with that. Also... Uh, also, if you have your person in your contacts, then their picture will show up there if you're connected with them on Facebook, or you can even add a picture if you'd like to. One other thing that you can do, a new feature, is you can reply right in line. You don't have to you know, pull up a new screen. If you just need a quick reply, you can do that. If you think, oh, I need, to, but, you know, I need a big screen, I need to add a lot of stuff, you can pop it out here. So I'm just going to discard that. So that's something new. Also, if we wanted to do a new email, this is also new on your insert. If you come down here, if you're typing something in, you can click online pictures and you can go to any of these places and find a photo, which is kind of cool. You can also get Flickr on there or you can add a table. You can add you know, an Excel spreadsheet and type stuff in there. There's just a lot of really kind of cool things that you can do uh, with with Outlook. So let's close that down, discard that. Uh, another cool thing is you can move your folders around. I just discovered this today. So if I wanted to move this way up here, then I could do that. You're not tied down to having them in alphabetical order. So that is a really nice feature because you should Used to, I'd you know, try to name something so it'd be near the top, but we don't have to do that anymore. Uh, those are main, the main ones that I wanted to show you about. Oh, I did want to show you one other thing on your view in your people pane. This is, if you click on your account settings, this is where you go to set up how you want to link with people. So those are the main features I wanted to show you for today, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. Thank you.